I've already started packing. I'm kind of going a little overboard, but who doesn't? We're only gonna be there for a week. But I mean, you gotta think you gotta have clothes to sleep in. You're gonna have to have clothes just like lounge around in. We're gonna be going to dinner and stuff. So you gotta have like some sort of nice kind of outfits. You gotta have cute outfits in case I wanna take pictures somewhere, which I highly doubt it being Missouri. <laughs> But you know, you just never know. You gotta be prepared. I'd rather be overpacked than underpacked. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. And I'm mainly only packing stuff right now that I'm not gonna wear for the next two days. I already have my airport outfit and everything. So I've got it all figured out. So I'll just kind of show you guys what I guess I already have packed. I just got like a couple of pair of jeans just to, you know, have can't ever go wrong with packing jeans. We are actually getting family pictures done on Sunday the 12th. So we're all wearing blue. So I'm gonna bring my blue floral dress, which fun fact, whenever my husband and I eloped here last year, we, um, like I didn't have like my wedding dress or anything yet because we just were eloping. So we didn't figure like we would need anything like that. This is actually the dress I got married in. And then whenever we got back to Missouri, my stepmom and my dad threw us like a little reception, like celebration of marriage type of thing. And then that is when I got my wedding dress and we kind of planned it as a wedding, but not really. Um, bringing the Air Force Ones, basic, I know, but they're cute. I love them still. I don't think they've gone out of style, at least for myself. These cute little heels from Shein, y'all. These are actually so cute. And I think they were only like $27, which, can't go wrong with it. We love a good Shein deal. These cute little flats that I got from Banana Republic. They've got like a little snakeskin pattern on them. Just a cute casual little sandal there. Um, the rest is pretty much just like lounge wear. And I got all my cute little Cutting Creative merch that I'm gonna be bringing because why not? It's the most perfect lounge wear. You can dress it up or down. Love the versatility of it. You guys can also use code Caitlin15 for 15% off at checkout. Also kind of this dress, I've worn it a couple of times. I think I've posted a couple of pictures on my Instagram. It's a really pretty dress. I believe where I got it from was Kiss the Rainbow Shop. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what they're called. I'll put their Instagram up here, but they have really, really cute items. I think their fashion is really aesthetic and I think it's really, really trendy. So definitely check them out. But I think I'm just gonna finish packing the rest of my stuff and then maybe just do a little chit chat with you guys while I get my stuff packed. These are probably my new favorite board shorts. I also have a pair that I got from Zara. I think they're in the wash still, but they are so comfy. I love to just pair these with like a cute sneaker. Um, it did come with a black crop tank top, which I also really love. Um, sometimes I do feel a little bit uncomfortable wearing crop tops though, just because I, I do still get insecure about my body and I try to be, you know, as body positivity as, as possible and preaching it. And I just need to practice what I preach and just trying to learn more every single day about gaining confidence and everything. So it's just a me thing, I guess, but okay. So as I've been saying, my husband and I are going to Missouri, seeing all of my family, which is really exciting. I haven't seen them in eight months. The last time I was away from my family for this long was when I was in basic training and I believe it was only three and a half months long, but that literally killed me. I was only 18, so I had never been away from home for that long. But like graduation day was literally the, the best day of my life. Like if I could relive that moment again, I, I really would. Not the whole basic training scenario, but just the graduation moment because it was so special. Also side note, these pants, I am so obsessed. They're like a trouser, really stretchy, like a jersey type of material. They're from Banana Republic. They are literally my favorite lounge pants ever. I wear them almost every single day, so I have to bring these. I also feel kind of bad because I told my husband that we could just split, like this side would be my side of the suitcase and then this other side would be his, but that's not gonna happen because I still have to pack my bridesmaid's dress 
and all my skincare and my hair stuff and just try to figure it all out. So that's what's gonna happen. So we fly out of Hawaii on the 7th later in the evening and then we don't get into Missouri until like 10.30 that morning on the 8th and pretty much our whole time while we're there it's gonna be super jam-packed. We have literally stuff going on every single day. So that day that we fly in, I'm gonna go over to my grandparents' house because they're gonna be watching my niece. So I'll just be able to see my grandparents again and I'll finally be able to get to meet my niece for the first time. She is three and a half months old and y'all, when I say I, I cannot wait to meet her. She's the most precious baby I have ever seen in my life. So I love being a little auntie. So I'm really excited to meet her. And then later that evening, my aunt does like Wednesday night dinners at her house. So all of the girls will be over there. She's going to make one of my favorite meals, which is chicken enchiladas. Actually, I shouldn't even be ashamed. I love chicken enchiladas. They're so good. So we're going to have that for dinner. And then Thursday, we're going to have breakfast with my mom. And then Mitchell's going to meet my mom for the first time, which will be really exciting. And then later that day, we are going to be going to my best friend's rehearsal dinner. We're first going to be going to the venue and just setting everything up because they're going to be allowing us to just go in and get everything set up for the, for the wedding that's going to be the next day. So we have that going on on Thursday and then Friday is the wedding, which will be an all day type of, a, type of affair. And then Saturday, Mitchell is going to be going golfing with like 14 of my boy, like siblings and family members so they're gonna be all doing that and then while the boys are golfing us girls are going to either be going to the winery or we're just gonna have brunch at my aunt's house with all the girls and then later that evening we're having a huge barbecue have all the family together which will be nice to just have everyone i miss my family so much i miss them a lot and so that's pretty much what we have going on those first couple of days and then that Sunday, we are going to the zoo with my niece, my sister, her boyfriend, my mom, and then of course my husband. And then after the zoo, we're gonna get our family pictures done. So Monday, my stepmom is taking off of work because unfortunately she is gonna be going to my stepbrother's baseball tournaments. So then we'll probably just get lunch or something. And then I believe later that day, we're gonna go see my aunt and uncle on my stepmom's side because they just had a baby in March and I obviously have not met him yet. So we're gonna go see him, just visit a little bit, see my other little cousins that I am so excited to see because they are the cutest little things ever. And then we're gonna be seeing my grandma and grandpa on my stepmom's side. And then Tuesday we leave and we fly out, I think at like 11 a.m. So it was a really short trip, unfortunately, but we're making the best out of it. We have stuff going on every single day, which is like a good and bad thing just because I really don't have a ton of time to be able to dedicate to seeing any of my friends, which kind of sucks. But we didn't really plan it out well whenever we bought our tickets. We just kind of like, it was almost just like we were so excited. We just wanted to book it. And we didn't really think about how much time we don't really have being there for only a week and the trip's probably gonna go by so fast since we have a ton of stuff going on while we're there but i think that is all the packing i am going to do for tonight tomorrow i am going back to see my hair girl because i need to get one of my extensions fixed because it's kind of starting to fall out i've been using this blowout brush and i think it may have um I think it's made one of my extensions kind of fall out. So I need to go get that fixed ASAP before I leave. So we're gonna be doing that. My husband needs to go to the golf range. So we're gonna do that. And then pretty much just continue packing. He needs to get packed. He hasn't done any sort of packing whatsoever, which is fine. He's more of a last minute type of guy. Your girl's not like that. I like to have my shit done. So that's what we will be focusing on on Monday. I'm getting my eyebrows waxed super early on Tuesday morning. And then we are going to the airport at like 2.30 in the afternoon on Tuesday. So this will kind of be more of like a get ready with me for travel. And then I'll do a separate video of like my actual travel day. Bring you guys into that type of day with me. Hopefully everything goes well. We're flying with United. And I've been hearing good and bad reviews on them. I just feel like with COVID, all airlines are kind of struggling right now with 
pilots and everything. So fingers crossed that we don't have any sort of missed flights or canceled flights. So please pray for us. And with that being said, I am going to go to bed and I will pick this back up in the morning. Okay guys, it is the next day. We definitely slept in a little bit later than usual, but it's totally fine. Our body needed the rest. We are on our way to my hairdresser's house so I can get my hair fixed. I'm probably going to have her maybe tone it again just because it is starting to look a little bit brassy, especially kind of up on my roots. I like it to look more icy platinum. And then I am actually going to drop Mitchell off at the golf range so he can get some golfing in before we leave. And then we're going to come back home, clean up the house a little bit, and then continue to pack. So I will pick this back up whenever I get to my hairdresser's house. All right, y'all, I am at my hairdresser's house. I got her a little starby since she is fixing my hair on her day off. I feel kind of bad. She's so sweet. She's like my Hawaiian mom. Like, <laughs> it sounds so weird, but she's like the mom that I can't have while Maya's back in the mainland. So she's, she's so incredible. Um, so I'm gonna go get my hair fixed real quick and I will be right back in. I don't know if it'll be much of like a transformation, but here we go okay you guys i just left my hair girl's house she did end up toning it for me which thank goodness it did kind of help give me more of like that icier look on the bottom and then she also taught me how to curl my hair because i do pretty well when i curl my left side but i don't know what it is about my right side i just struggle with it so hard and i have no idea why so she taught me how to do that so I can just finally do it on my own without needing anyone's help. So now we're just going to go back to the golf range and pick up my husband and probably just go back home and relax for a little bit. Okay, so I am back at home now. I really wanted to try to get some beach time in before we left, but unfortunately it did not happen. So I am going to do a little bit of self tanning using my... Coco and Eve self tanner. I've only used it once, but the one time that I did, I really liked it. I liked how my complexion looked after I had used it. It wasn't like an orange kind of undertone. It's got like shades of green in it, which are really good for like olive skin tone. So it doesn't make you look orange. And there's actually a lot of health benefits to using this too. So I really enjoy it. I love this product. I've used Saint, Saint Tropez, I think is what it's called, Saint Tropez. Um, I've used their self tanner before. I really like that one too. It's probably my, my all time favorite. It's just so expensive. And this brand actually sent me this for free. So I was like, why not? Um, and then I also really love Loving Tan too. They have really incredible self tanning products as well. So I am going to get all self tanned and show you guys the results right after because they are super fast and you'll definitely be able to tell a difference so one second okay so this is immediately after i know it looks a little crazy right now i did go a little bit darker on my head only because last time i did it i feel like i didn't put enough so it was kind of like my head looked more pale than the rest of my body so um if anything i can just wash it off quicker than everything else it does say that you can wear it overnight, but I think I'm just going to leave it on for like six hours because I feel like when I when I kept it on overnight the last time, I looked extremely dark and I still want to be able to like have a really nice tan, but not as dark as the last time. So this is what I have going on right now. Um, it is currently 6.40 p.m. My husband is making ribs for Labor Day and we're just gonna relax. I'm probably gonna start editing this video and then tomorrow we fly out. So, but I think this is where I'm gonna end this vlog and then I'll pick it back up tomorrow and start the 
travel day with me vlog for the next time so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please hit the subscribe button and like this video it helps me out so much and if you are not yet follow me on my instagram i will put it right up here and i will also link it in my description box down below and i hope you guys have an incredible day thank you for watching